It is very important that you reach a point in your life that you understand you will always be faced with a situation, a condition, a person, an opportunity, or some crossroad in your life and along the journey where you need to make an important decision. Decision making is one of the most important skills that you need to master. Learn how to make a decision. What do you need to pay attention to? What do you need to observe, analyze, and therefore, which road should you turn into? Where where should you go? Which direction should you take when it comes to making an important decision? And even and quite frankly, every other decision in your life. Look, it's very important that you understand the fundamentals of the universe. If you can see past the physical aspects and the physical attributes of your life experience and realize that everything is energy, everything is based on energy, everything is based on vibration, everything is based on emotion, and everything is based on the invisible realms that have to do with the law of attraction. So with the law of attraction, you know, or at least by now, I think you should be acquainted with the idea that like energy attracts like energy. So a decision is usually something that follows from your thoughts, from your belief, from your mindset. So you've attracted a situation, an opportunity, or a specific set of results where you need to make a decision. Whether it's a relationship, or it's a new job, or it's a potential partner, or it's traveling to a specific location, you are always attracting to yourself a set of decisions, a set of opinions, a set of conditions and situations and people and circumstances and and options. That is what life is all about. You will always have options to make in relation to the life that you want to create for yourself. It's almost like when you're building a, a house or when you're building a company or you're building a relationship or you are traveling to a location. Day in, day out, you are attracting options. You are attracting shares because you are sharing your reality and sharing your experience with other people. And therefore, decision making is very important. So learn to master the skill of making a decision. So this is what you've got to pay attention to. How does it make you feel? If you turn that side, how will you feel a few moments from now, two weeks from now, three weeks from now, six months from now, two years from now, depending on, of course, um, what are you talking about? So whether it's a relationship or marriage or a new job, you always need to consider in future, the near future, the medium term future and the long term future, how are you going to feel regarding this decision? How important is it that you make the decision and that you turn left or turn right or go straight or continue going backwards or continuing to go up or whatever the case might be? If you've got three options, you need to compare the options. How do each of these options make you feel? If all of them make you feel the same way, then obviously there's no decision that needs to make, uh, that needs to be made. Obviously, to choose anything. However, if you reach a point where you do need to make a decision, it means that all of these things have variations. They've got different um, benefits, um, you know, pros and cons and negative attributes and aspects that will add value in your life. So you need to consider all the options. But the important fundamental thing here when you're making a decision is how does it make you feel? Remember, with the law of attraction, anything that makes you feel good will bring in more goodness. Anything that makes you feel bad will bring in more bad things. So if you regret or if you doubt or if you are uncertain or unsure about a decision that you need to make, spend more time meditating upon the pros and the cons. Weigh the different options. What is important to you? What is the deal maker? Is it important right now that you maybe emphasize, maybe maybe right now you're not in a comfortable situation in your relationship or your job or whatever the case might be, but does it have the potential to change? Does it have the potential for it to become better? Because some people make decisions because they want to quit or because they want 
better opportunities because of maybe the present temporary situation is not comfortable. But remember, where you are right now always has the potential to become better, to improve. So my advice is, when you need to make a decision, always choose love. Always choose to reach out for the solution. Don't run away from the problem. Don't avoid the, the uncomfortable experience in the hopes of, of experiencing something in future because you're quitting. So in other words, always reach out for something. Don't avoid a problem. So your decision should always be made out of love instead, out, instead of out of fear. So make a decision because you've got faith Make a decision because you are hopeful. Make a decision because you are excited. Make a decision because of what it promises and what you anticipate instead of making a decision because of what you fear, because you may regret or you are, you know, concerned or worried about what happens after you make the decision. So if you are making a decision based on your fears, then it's not a good decision. So don't quit something because you fear rejection. Don't give up on a person or give up on an opportunity because you're afraid it may not work or the person may not improve or your job or the circumstances may not improve or change. You need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So make the decision based on love. Make the decision based on trust. Make the decision based on a hopeful vision and a mission and therefore the decision will be easy for you to make. It has to be a decision that is made from a positive perspective, not from a negative condition, not from you running away from something. Don't avoid something. Don't try to, you know, ignore something. Rather reach out for a solution. Find the love. Find the goodness. It has to make you feel good. If you make the decision, will it bring you relief? Will it bring you excitement? Will it bring you joy? Will it bring you, you know, goodness and wonderful experiences in future? Is it going to make you feel good? If it's going to make you feel good and it's going to bring in more positive experiences, then of course, make the decision to go forward and to go towards that particular situation. However, if you are avoiding something or if you are afraid of something or you're trying to ignore something or put it under the carpet and you don't want to deal with it, then you're not making the right decision. Always be at a point where you understand that like energy attracts like energy. So if you are positive and hopeful and excited and anticipating greatness and you are expecting good news in future in relation to that direction and relation to that decision, then go forward. Go forward and do it. Just go forward and do it. Make sure that it will make you feel good. That is the importance of making a decision. But here's another thing. You can never really make a mistake. So when you make the decision, stick to it. Don't second doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Don't think that you might regret it in the future. Make the decision and align with it. Connect with the decision and decide that it is a decision that is good for you. If you decide to take the job, make the decision that taking the job is good for you. If you decide to date someone or go in marriage or do whatever it is that you need to do, you need to realize that it is the right decision. There's no right or wrong decision. The only fundamental question is, how will it make you feel in future, tomorrow, in the next moment? And you need to feel good. It has to be something that's going to bring no harm to other people as long as you are doing what you can do to feel the love, to feel the greatness, and to feel the joy coming from within. It's all about appreciation and thankfulness and gratitude. Positive mindset, positive thoughts will bring in positive experiences.